then you have to find a donor, and that's a really awkward conversation, right? right. You have to go and say, hey, like, can I get your poo? Like, <laughs> it's not weird, I promise. It's just it's for a medical thing, don't worry. Hey everybody, thank you for watching D News Today. I'm Trace. That is Mark Smith of Open Biome, a startup in Boston with the goal of making it easier for people to get medical grade poop for fecal transplants. Yeah, poop. We've talked about this before. It's when a doctor takes fecal material from a donor and all the good bacteria that comes with that and then implants it into a patient's body. Fecal transplants are considered an excellent way to treat C. diff as well as other gut bacterial disorders. Recently, I worked with our sister network, Seeker, on a whole story about exactly how this happens. We even got to witness a whole fecal transplant procedure. I got to be in the room for that. We'll put a link in the description if you wanna watch that video, it's super cool. Even though it sounds like a crazy new treatment, it's actually not. The first modern medical fecal microbiota transplantation was in 1958, and similar procedures have been around for millennia. But this has been done for thousands of years in old Chinese medicine texts. There's descriptions of giving infants with diarrhea another infant's poop, orally actually, in the fourth century BC. This is old, old stuff. But it's 2015, right? Shouldn't we have some crazy awesome technology that separates us from ancient cultures who are doing poop enemas? Okay, to put things in perspective, thousands of years ago, ancient Sumerians discovered that chewing on willow bark reduced inflammation and fever for some reason. That bark contained salicin. By the late 1800s, three German chemists discovered how to synthesize this organic compound into acetosalicylic acid, or what we would call today aspirin. Obviously a better, more targeted treatment than chewing on willow bark, I think you'd agree, but you probably see where we're going with this. Yeah, right now we're, we're working on poop pills, which are, are literally just poo in a pill. And so it's just a different way of getting the poo to the place it needs to go. It's, I, I once characterized this in an interview somewhere as, as a, a very inelegant solution with an elegant outcome. It is a shotgun, it's not precise. I'm just sort of admitting that I don't know how to fix his biome, so I'm just gonna replace his biome. What I'd rather do is fix his biome, and that is understand his biome, look at it, see what's there, and then, Ryan, you need a jar of Pepto-Strepto and half a jar, like an eye of Newton, a tail of fig, but we really need to correct the biome and balance the biome in a much more precise way, and that's the long-term solution. So it turns out these primitive poop transplants of today are not the long-term solution, just the first step in the development of a treatment that medical scientists think will be very different in the future and hopefully even more effective. In the future, you know, now sort of developing, you know, more targeted delivery through some of the capsules that we're working on. And then, so the next step will be actually changing the active ingredients. So, so far, we've really been focused on the process, but in the longer term, I think actually changing the ingredient to isolate, you know, what is the component that's necessary is gonna be a big step forward. We take a donated stool, that is then put one by one into the little capsules, or crapsules as some people will call them. They do, they do it here and they come right out of the freezer, directly, directly from freezer to mouth, because you don't, you don't want a thawed poop pill, you want a well-frozen poop pill, or poopsicle perhaps. Coming in and swallowing 25 pills is a whole lot better than having a colonoscopy. So if it works as well, that would be wonderful. Even though we are still doing this ancient medical practice because doctors know it works, researchers are still playing catch up. In the latest issue of the journal Microbiome, researchers were surprised when they followed recipients of a fecal transplant for 21 weeks after the procedure, and they continued to see a healthy gut microbiome. We know this procedure works, and it seems the future of these poop transplants isn't really gonna stink. It's just gonna be really, really cool. But what do you think of all this? You can tell us down in the comments. You can subscribe for more D News. We would love it if you did both. And make sure you watch our video over on Seeker Stories as well. I get to host that one, and again, super awesome. The population that we're treating this way, this is their last resort. They've been sick for a minimum of six months, and this cures them. This classic case that I take care of has an over 90% success rate. Thank you for watching D News. We'll see you later.